Alright, so I just smoked him in the doggy paddle, but it wasn't on tape. We're gonna see if I can go two for two. I think he might have more endurance than me, so it's gonna be a closer race, but I think I might still be able to win. No, I, I definitely will win. No NBA, no NHL. This is what we're reduced to. Go! my wake. It's okay. I'm just really good at the doggy bell. It doesn't mean you're bad. It just means I'm incredible. So what makes this beach um, unique for the Bahamas is most of the Bahamas is surrounded by reefs. That's why you get that turquoise, turquoise kind of uh, blue water. But Surfers Beach, there's no reef. So the, actually the next piece of land is Africa. And because there's no reef, we get wave action here. So actually, even including North Carolina or Florida, this is probably the best surf action in the whole East Coast. Here we have a little surfer shanty where they, uh, you know, recover after getting pitted and smoke their reefer. It looks pretty comfortable though. Oh, I guess it's kid friendly. So a lot of these guys come down here surfing and. They build little hippie shacks and, and uh, domes and stuff like that. And they just ended up uh, coming down here when, when the surf is good. Surfer miscreants. Yeah. And there's also a lot of kind of leftover old hippies from the 60s. Hey, once your brain is fried from the 60s, just, <laughs> just had to... The name of the beach is Surfer's Paradise, it's, right? No, this is called Surfer's Beach. Yeah. Surfer's Beach. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this is a nice beach. You know, we were at Harbor Island. That's like the billion dollar property beach. The property close to this beach probably is just, you know. You can buy a lot for like five, 10 grand. Yeah. And then like when you build those little uh, surf shacks, they don't cost anything to build. Like, you know, like maybe another 10, 20 grand yeah. shack or whatever. Yeah. Or even just a dome, honestly. The, actually the domes are the way to go because they're aerodynamic and actually in the hurricanes, the wind kind of goes all around them. Ah, oh, nice. So um, they're like, the, especially if you do a concrete one, they're the safest probably buildings to be in. Actually, my friend Edgar, who you met, um, He's got you know, a huge dome. Oh, and, nice. and we always say that if a Cat 5 is coming here, that's the bunker. We're all, oh, we're, nice. we're all crashing at his house. You a know? beach glue. I just wanted to see a, a dome in the flesh. Yeah. A real dome. Yeah. This is the best one on the island. So. Yeah. Well, this is the only concrete one. It's a bunch of geodesic ones. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen photos it's of those. This is just concrete and fiberglass, right? Correct. Yeah. So there's no steel, there's no wood, you know. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so if there's ever like a really brutal hurricane, like a hit, like Abaco, we're all coming here. I'll have to try one of your blunts at some point. They look delicious. Dude, what the guy from Romania did say? Oh, that's a good secret. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The stock market has crashed. The NBA is canceled. The NHL is canceled. March Madness is canceled. And Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson have coronavirus. So, what do you do about bazillion bubbles? Bazillion bubbles. It's really the only thing you can do right now. Hey, I'll just take a tipple. Uh, yeah, keep going. No, no, no. I didn't say when. Come on. What are you going to do except play a little sad song on the champagne flute? No Corona, no Christ. All right, Kendrick, how would you rate the Gnocchi? The Gnocchi? One to, yes. one to ten. I'll give it a nine. A nine. Rookie score. A rookie score. You got to do like a nine point something. You can't do round numbers. You want it even or uneven? I just want a, not a round number. So it's got to be like, a, it could be like a seven. Nine five, seven point nine. 7.9 or 9.5? That's a big fluctuation. 7.9. 7. You just gave it a 9 and then you brought it down to a 7.9? I would give this Ganochi like a solid. It's Naki. 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 Yeah. It's a little Naki. Mm, you gotta get that mm, Naki. Yeah, I would give like, this. I'm not calling you Ganochi like you are. Well, it would be a lot cooler if it was called Ganochi, this, but it's not. Like I don't know if it's just the. Gnocchi 
that is like the star of this dish. It's the sauce and the shrimp. The, it is the, sauce, the gnocchi kind of plays second fiddle, like it's, it's the white rice below the General Gauss chicken. I feel like I'm pulling into Nantucket. We are now on Spanish Wells. I don't know why it's called Spanish Wells, but now it's like a, it's a community separated from the mainland of Eleuthera and uh, most of the residents are actually year-round. I'm not afraid of cold. Oh, this is where all the fresh seafood is caught. Oh, yep, it's a lobster tail. You gonna grab a fat bag of snapper? Huh? <laughs> Kendrick's getting the whole bag. Woo, this is the coldest I've been in quite some time. The fish locker. Davy Jones locker, as they call it. Oh man, my glasses are all fogged up now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. So he's getting he's getting the whole bag. I, I guess he's getting somebody. Yeah. He's gonna be eating well. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than a conch fritter. That's no problem, man. These taste like mini crab cakes, but maybe even a little bit better. I think conch fritters are like the official food of the Bahamas. I would totally agree We were watching the Canadian channel tonight. There's some. Case. They're not letting anybody back in there either. And they're letting. Um, they said everybody's gonna stay in for a couple of days or weeks. Yeah, yeah. because. Home, yeah, like I have to leave the Bahamas on, on Thursday because yeah. all of the airports in yes, the Bahamas are gonna yes, close on like yes. on Friday. Especially so. The international flights. Yep. I don't know about the local. Flights. Oh yeah, you can probably still get from like Nassau to here and yeah. stuff, yeah, but it's just yeah. Flight. I don't really want to go to the United States right now. Yeah, unfortunately, that's where I'm going. Yeah. I'd be safer in China, maybe. You going to China? Hey, uh, you want to come back on a body bag, man? Yeah. <laughs> she ran away. Your turtle ran away. She ran away. Wait, wait, excuse me. You knows, you had a pet turtle? Stoogie, yeah, who, her name was Stoogie. Who ran away? Yeah, she ran away. <laughs> Was this like a tortoise? Cause like I, I had it on top of my grill. David, you have grill in the dude. Back of you the cooked it. You cooked it. It was and on she, top no, of the grill. She was in her. She was in her. I've had a turtle soup before. It's not great, but I think if I was hungry ate enough, ate I would. Uh, Probably a snake ate up. What you done to your hair? It looks good. What you done? It's just long. <laughs> it's just long. So Laverne, I don't do this for most people, but I'm willing to give you one of my Rangoon recipes that you can serve at your food shack. Is that your it's tradition delicious. with the country that you came from? It's a type of American Chinese food. The name of it, what is it called again? A crab Rangoon. Rangoon, it sounds more Chinesey. So you can't actually find them in China, but if you go to like a Chinese restaurant in the Northeast or in the Midwest in the U.S., they'll have them. Cool. And they're good, so tomorrow we'll learn how to make them. How do you like your steaks, Vernie? How do I like my steaks? Well done. Ooh, that's how Trump likes them too. Oh, oh that's not well done, that's just, that's just well. What did you put inside the sauce right there? I don't know right now, I'll tell you after I'm through serving, please. Oh, it's a secret recipe. Yeah, I don't have anybody make secrets, so don't ask. <laughs> All right, well then I'm not gonna tell you my Rangoon recipe. I see how it is. Who would have thought that a stone crab claw actually has more meat than a main lobster claw? Yeah. What? The crabs don't have tails. Yeah. So with lobster, the knuckle meat like is the best, and yeah. this this is the crab knuckle. You you gotta try you gotta try some of that. This is a little tough. To, no, you just gotta go like this, and you can like kind of. I don't know if you'll be able to do that. No, you did it. That did it totally. Yep. Oh yeah. Good job, man. Yes. You're a natural. What can you say? Now we got the knuckle. That is incredible. Yeah. You can have this one. Well, you're the expert. I'm drinking a a beer and a third of a, th a Fanta. Oh, it's all right. Late in the night. 
Oh, Stock that's a crash. solid ratio. So, desperate times call desperate for times. No more rationing. Champagne. As long as Corona's around, it's one beer and third of a Fanta. Because if I'm in quarantine for 14 weeks, I can't stock up on like 600 beers and 200 Fanta. First time trying barracuda. You guys know barracuda, that long fish that uh, has very sharp teeth. But apparently it only attacks um, humans if they're wearing something shiny. So you don't have to worry about a barracuda attack. Yeah, it's happened a couple times, but their mouths are so small that it's not gonna kill you. It's just gonna take a chunk out of your leg. Take a, a dip in here. My favorite thing about this is that it's not dry meat at all. I hate when you get fish and it just like flakes all over. It's just like and it's pretty lean, though, right? It's like it's not and it's not fishy. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a, you know you get like a, a fish. I don't know what to say. Fishy, you know, yeah, it's fish, but a fishy fish. You know what I'm saying? A fishy fish. Yeah. Uh, yes, it does not taste super fishy. Yeah, and, and so they're really easy to grill. Because they only have one bone that goes right up the middle. So you just kind of chop them to steaks like that, and you can grill them like that. So. You just take out the one bone, and you can chop it up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you have to take out the bone. The bone is just goes like a small bone that goes like right in the middle. Oh, okay. And then you just like chop them to steaks. And you can just put them on the grill or fry them up like this, you know? So That's very similar to how they prepare snakes in China. It's just the the one bone. But, uh, <laughs> but um... Due to coronavirus, I will no longer be eating snake in China. You do have to watch it with barracuda, though, because what happens is if they're too large, they eat, they're kind of like eat everything, right? Mm -hmm. So you can get poisoning. And I think the test is when it's on the dock, you know, flies always fly around fish. Yeah. And no flies around it, it just means that's, that's a bad cuda. Yeah. You know? So, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, this barracuda passed the fly test. Because, yeah, unfortunately, if it didn't, you can be pissing out your ass for a while. Oh, it, it can get bad? Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't that the case with all fish, though? Yeah, I think that's the case. Yeah, yeah. Hao chu. Hao chu. That's delicious in Chinese. Shout out the Chinese virus, as Trump is calling it. Right here, yeah. to the right. This is where Aiden Christensen bought the house. I think he still may own it. Um, so he came here, I think, in 05 or 06, and um, he tried to build this house, or he bought this house probably for way more than it was worth. And he came here, got bit up by a bunch of bugs, no seams, whatever, had a bad reaction, and then he left the island and never came back. And he, I don't, I, like, to my knowledge, he's never sold the house. And he probably bought it for like, like said, a million. It's really a five or $600,000 house. Yeah, and, and and he hasn't been in a lot of movies since, so I don't know how he can just let a million dollar house yeah. sit around. I mean, it's not like a flashy house, no, but yeah. just right on the beach. Yeah, this is one prime of the best, real estate. This is one of the best beaches here. This so. beach is beautiful. Yeah, um, he yeah, never so came back. Yeah, this house looks like it hasn't been lived in forever. Yeah, God yeah, damn it! The, the tiles are falling apart. And, you know, the Star Wars prequels bomb, and um. You know, he just decides to ditch his house in the Bahamas, but you'd think he'd want to sell it. I don't know. So basically Darth Vader is a pussy and bugs kicked his ass. A lot of porn guys can't say they've actually, you know, dated a porn star. How, how long did the relationship last? How long did she like last on the About island? Two to three months. I've oh, I'll call that a relationship, 100%. Yeah. yeah, you know, I would say like I've dated like two porn stars and both were two, three months. You know, some, they have like some issues. Yeah. That's a relationship in my book. If yeah. you're together, I would say maybe a month and a half was like, no, I would say a month. If, if you're with a girl longer than a month, it's officially a relationship. So yeah, you have dated two porn stars. Yeah, it, it, and by, by the way, both of them are kind of like nice girls. They weren't like... Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of... Uh, we had Asa Akira, who was yeah, working for, for Barstool, yeah, yeah, you I know, I've had some conversations with her. She's like a nice, normal person. Just, uh, you know, uh, she just has a strange occupation. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, and you can't Love judge... Zeno. You can't judge everyone by their occupation. 
Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm sure they're probably some of the more sane people. I'm sure actually porn stars might be more sane than strippers. <laughs> I'm not sure. I hate to say this, but I found when I dated them, actually a lot of the bullshit factor was lower than dating a lot of so-called normal girls. Like there wasn't a lot of games. Yeah. It was just they came down here, we had fun, and that was it. You know. Venison. Venison says so is venison probably mixed with some pork. You guys got a lot of wild deer on Eleuthera, right? <laughs> The time has come to say goodbye to this paradise. We're, we're moving back in with Dave. All hell is breaking loose back in the U.S. My parents can't find toilet paper. That's concerning. Um, so in the scheme of things, the fact that we have to leave this resort, not a big deal. So yeah, I didn't know until I was 30, struggling in these shitty punk bands, that my dad in Spain was this like super respected like rock, the first rock legend. The Elvis. I say Elvis because all the musicians are like, oh, Silvio, you know, he's like a cult folk figure. He'd have to be cult figure because he was junk all the time. Yes. The shots of him on television, like I've never seen someone so drunk. On television. Show. As most pop yeah. icons are. Google Silvio Sacramento, as in California, and you'll see a drunk man. Uh, well, him. that's a great rock star name, Silvio Sacramento. Yeah. Um, so then it, they gave you the key to Seville, Spain? Oh, the key to Seville happened a few years ago. He's dead, and I've been hanging around, and they it's really his. Yeah, they no, it's, it, but they're like, oh, <laughs> he's not around. <laughs> I can open the door. Yeah, okay. The magic gates of Sevilla. Hey, it's a, it's a magical city. There's a lot of pretty ladies in Sevilla. So very quickly, can you give me a rundown of the show that we are going to watch? Me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the camera? Oh, it's right oh, there. Yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah, we're about to watch uh, uh, the almost premiere. About six people have seen it. <laughs> Misfit Island. You saw it here first. So when it becomes the next Monty Python's Flying Circus in 20 years, you can be like, damn, this is when they first watched it. Misfit Island. It's a silly comedy. It's very, very silly. And it's all filmed here. It's all, all filmed, filmed here in the Bahamas. I'm sure the first sitcom to be filmed in the Bahamas ever. Probably the last. Well, I've only been here for a few days. There are definitely a lot of misfits on this island, in Including myself. Yeah, I can explain. All, all the characters in it are just themselves turned up to 10. So, yeah, so, I'm quite cool, but I'm also really nerdy and into wrestling and stuff, and I won't grow up, so I turned that part up to 10. So it's, it's me being really into wrestling and really not growing up. And Edgar, he's gone. He used to be a lawyer, and now he's a farmer, so we made him a lawyer, but now a hippie farmer. My name is Tanner LaPlanc, and this is my first year film project so I'm gonna be filming a documentary about my wacky uncle and they're making a documentary about me innit? I'm a jack of all trades really yeah. I had a girlfriend for nearly six months once but then bloody uh, World of Warcraft came out it was a no-brainer you know I can't blame him he does like the ladies some summer in there don't you buddy yeah but the question is does he like games and wrestling more Trading stocks forever. Yeah. What are three moves that the people at home should think about making and keep it succinct? I like Tata a lot, like I said. It may go lower. TTM. Um, gold stocks, because what's going to happen is they are going to throw the kitchen sink at this thing. They're going to do what's called MMT, which means they're going to print money to pay for uh, the bailouts of companies. Uh, give people paychecks out of thin air to, to, so they can survive while they don't have jobs. So right after this liquidation stage is done, gold and gold stocks are going to go crazy. And then if you're a little more sophisticated, you can short that corporate bonds. Because what's happening now is, again, like I told you, it's like the big short. Their price has investment grade because of all the debt the companies have taken on. They're really junk. And that still has to play out. So, you know. And, and last thing, Boeing is going to go bankrupt. I guarantee you that. But 
long as they may get bailed out. That's the only thing, right? So Animal. they shouldn't be. <laughs> well, Boeing was responsible for like not. I'm not saying everybody at Boeing. If they go bankrupt, there's a lot of great people that are. Gonna of course, be, a lot of great employees that are going to be out of a job. But yeah. they like a, 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 like maybe the last three plane crashes were because they didn't like fully test their new planes, right? Oh, and I think that goes back to the buybacks. Is that what was going on at Boeing was um, they they were essentially doing the buybacks to enrich the management instead of fully you know, investing in the safety or technology yeah. of the new planes, right? So, and then what's happened now is because of what's happening with Corona and, and travel going down, all the airlines, it's like a domino effect. They did too much buybacks and they're not gonna invest in new planes right now because there's yeah. you know, there's no demand because no one's gonna be traveling for a while. And then that, that affects Boeing. So it's like the buybacks have like this domino effect where yeah, these planes crashed and then the airlines, because they were doing them, uh, I don't have any cash right they now, either. so they're going to cut down on their new investment. So it's all like like a domino effect. Uh, Excuse me. Going Do you want to come to the hole, bus? I am. Yes, I, you, I need to invite you to the hole. Fuck, I own the hole. You should be glad I'm you not charging. The hole. I should, should be glad I'm not charging you and David to go to the hole. <laughs> all right, Morgan. Okay, let's go. You don't. You don't own the holes. The holes are public property. I have your stay, man. I know. I mean, we're gonna have to come back. Yeah. But we just have to leave tomorrow, or else we might never be able. Yeah, yeah. To leave. Going over tomorrow. Yeah, they're gonna leave tomorrow, dude. Come on. Because they might not be able to leave. Do you want to go out first, or should I? Yeah, you well, go out first. Who I will go out first is who, who fucking. Last you go first. Hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Use the rope there. It can it can help you a bit. Damn it, you gotta fucking donate the fucking kitten up here besides this motherfucking rope, dude. Yeah, we did need a real ladder. I do agree with that. You are the fucking welcome to 242. Oh, and is this the 242? 242 is the area code here, yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm welcome. Yes, mate. Welcome, mate. I fucking congratulate you to the Bahamas in such a crisis mood. Mm -hmm. I, hey, this is the and best place to be. It's the best yes, place to man. be. It's better in the Bahamas, as yep. they say. I love that palm tree. It just goes straight out and curves. Yeah. It's fucking really sweet. Nice one like that. Yeah. One, two. Now let's see. You know what? I'm a lefty. I think this will be the right one. I just got to get a solid grip. One, two. Ah, you know what? I'm switching it back. I'm switching it back. One, two. Oh fuck! Oh. I just went through my glove. Yeah. I gotta find a way to... You got to get a good grip and then just turn, keep turning him. Well, this thing, like, he's got all the spikes right here, and he's still flapping. Yeah, he's pissed. One. Just slowly turn him. Yep. Keep going. There you go. Oh, oh. God, that's a lot of meat. <laughs> Yes, sir. Mother of God. Look at that. Let's get Look water. at that. Kobe. And that will grow back, right? Yeah, that is, he's going to live. He's going to live. He's good. We're also going to be doing some wahoo sashimi. And I know my fish. I never knew wahoo was a fish. Um, but he caught a big one yesterday. So you just need to slice that up raw. Yeah. Wow. So you wash it off. Paper towel it. And uh, get nice and clean. And Serve it with a little soy. Nice little sauce, yeah. What family of fish does the wahoo come from? Super pelagic, almost Macro. like a tuna. Oh, that's tasty. It's good. I'm just gonna try a piece of the meat. I don't even know how you, I, you I like to get the full flavor profile of my sashimi. Sure oh good. yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal. Wow. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna wrap some goons. <laughs> God bless Blockbuster. God bless Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. And God bless Wayne Huizengas. God bless Huizengas. Sorry. Huizengas. Huizengas. All right. Okay. This yeah. place. This place. <laughs> he threw it completely over his shoulder. You did. Oh, that's that's he great. cheated. I'm now fucking. And that's a wrap.
I'm the only one at the Bahamas airport wearing a mask. Definitely freaking people out.